So, you want to take fingerprints for jewelry? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Remember, the quality of the fingerprint jewelry in the end depends on the quality of the fingerprint we start with. Here's what we want to see. Fingerprints with very clearly defined fingerprint lines. Nice and clear. Here's what we don't want. No blotches, no smudges, no lines through the fingerprints. We don't want to see anything but a nice crystal clear fingerprint. You'll want to make sure that you capture the portion of the finger with the largest amount of detail, which is usually just above the knuckle. So focus on that area when capturing the prints. Otherwise, maybe you want to pick a finger that's easiest to access, like the pointer. For this method, you're going to need one HB pencil. That HB refers to the hardness of the lead, and it's just about perfect for this application. The brand doesn't matter at all, but you want to make sure you get yourself an HB pencil. And they're very common, so that shouldn't be a problem. You'll also need scotch tape. Now, I'm showing you two rolls for a reason. One of them, this one, which is usually called magic, has kind of a matte finish, and that's not very helpful for us. So you'll want to make sure you get this kind. It's got a shiny surface on top, and it's also a little bit wider than the narrow stuff that you'll see around the holiday season. You'll need a clean white sheet of paper and a hard surface to do it on. We're going to take a short amount of our scotch tape and put it sticky side up on the sheet of paper. Next, we're going to take our HB pencil and scribble a nice thick layer of the lead in the middle. To get it nice and even, you should probably rotate the page a little bit too as you do it. So that looks great. The next step is to take our finger and cover it in the pencil lead. Just like that. And then we're going to move on over to our piece of tape and put our finger in the long direction like so. Peel the tape off the finger and place it on the paper, just like that. Remember, there is two very important ingredients on our end for making the finest fingerprint jewelry available. The first one I already mentioned, it's the quality of the fingerprint. It's really important to the quality of the finished product that we start with a high quality fingerprint. The second most important thing is when you're sending us that fingerprint, it's got to be a very clear, very well focused photograph. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. All you're going to need is your phone and possibly, if you're interested, one of these little magnifiers. I picked this one up at a local dollar store and it works great. So here's what I mean by a great in-focus photograph. You see right there, got a, the fingerprint is pretty much filling up the field of view. If I get too close, I lose focus. If I'm too far away, it gets pretty small. So we want to support our elbows, hold our phone still, and take the picture. And you can see, if you look at it, that one is great. Now, I will also demonstrate using our magnifier. The interesting thing about the magnifier is that it lets you get really close and still stay focused. Look at that. In that picture, even better. We've got all the detail we need. It's nice and clear. All you need to do is email that to us and we're good to go.